بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Islam began as something strange and it will return as something strange so give glad tidings to the strangers those who adhere to kitab Allah wa sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah There are those who rejoice at the harm that they do to the Muslims as what is going on in Palestine right now in Gaza as they're blowing up and killing men, women and children and as what is going on in the slaughter and the sectarian violence in Iraq and in Syria every time they kill a Muslim they rejoice but however we say glad tidings to the strangers because Islam no matter how much they try to harm Muslims and they try to attack the honor of Islam and they try to make Muslims feel guilty for the ex ex uh, examples and the extremism of a few they can never truly tarnish Islam and the Muslims still raise their head why because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only accepts Islam and he protects Islam and he will protect his religion with or without us yuriduna li yutfiyu nurullahi bi afwa'ihim wallahu mutimun nuri wallahu kari al kafirun they want to extinguish the light of Islam with their mouths and with their weapons of course but Allah will complete his nur the light and the source of guidance even if the disbelievers dislike it even if many people who dislike to see muslims having peace and stability in their homes and to have their children being educated and for them to have provisions and prefer to oppress them and take and usurp their lands they can't extinguish the light of islam because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects his religion allah doesn't need me Allah doesn't need you Allah doesn't need the other people and the other jamaat and the groups and the sects fighting for their various causes because Allah is going to raise his religion up it's his religion Islam is about calling people to the worship of the creator of the heavens and earth and leaving off the worship of created things so you can't destroy tawhid And since we are in the holy month of Ramadan I want to advise and remind myself and advise and remind my brothers and sisters to supplicate raise your hands to Allah that Allah will lift the trials and tribulations that have befallen us that are often the result of our own hands that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help feed the hungry that are in Syria and outside of Syria and the result of that conflict and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect the lives of our brothers and sisters who are suffering in the Central African Republic as they're being slaughtered by the extremists there and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Muslims that are being oppressed all over the world in Syria in Iraq and wherever they're being slaughtered may Allah preserve them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the oppression of the rafida and the the extremist shia who hate the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in and spend their time cursing them and those who support them they attack them and kill them and slaughter them and oppress them may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh push back their oppression and put it back on them And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Muslims everywhere and bless them and preserve them and restore their honor and help them to do the, take those steps to restore their honor by coming back to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and refusing bid'ah refusing religious innovation even though everybody wants the Muslims to weaken their religion and to be away from ilm knowledge May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve our lives and the lives of our children and help us to go forward based on the Quran and based on the honorable sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
and based upon the sabil or the path and the methodology of the Sahaba radiAllahu ta'ala ajma'een how they understood the religion how they believed in the religion how they preserved the religion how they restored the honor of the religion how they preserved the honor of the religion may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala traverse the bless us to traverse this path and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us honor and bless us to do those things which please him and help us to avoid those things which displease him and help our brothers and sisters in Syria in Iraq in Afghanistan in Pakistan in the Central Af African Republic, in Ethiopia, in Nigeria, wherever they're being oppressed, whether it be hijacked by, by uh, extremists who are from within the religion, or whether it be bombed and killed and slaughtered by extremists outside of the religion who say they're protecting their honor, but in fact they protect, protect their honor and their citizens by raining down rockets and bombs upon civilians. And may Allah preserve our honor and protect us وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم